hasn't DeSantis tanked in the polls? He's gone to third. Yeah. Yeah. He's in third place at 9%. President Trump's at 52 to 58. Yeah. So he's 50 points ahead of anybody. Yeah. So this is why I haven't been watching any of the presidential debates. Like, I'm not interested in what the losers are. Well, but it's also interesting to watch them because who's going to be Trump's continuity candidate? And it would have been DeSantis had he kept his bloody mouth shut and not staffed his campaign with a bunch of edgy terminally online Zoomers. Sorry, Nate. And Christina Peshaw, who is like battery acid on people's ears. And the thing is, it's not like I don't like DeSantis or anything like that. It's just that he shouldn't have been challenging the king. But he, he also, well, look, there, there's a couple of things. Uh, if he'd been smart, and I said this a year ago, he doesn't run against the president. He slides in as his veep. And in 28, it is literally his. He doesn't have to do anything. He's yeah. the veep. And then he slides in because we're limited to two terms as president. And he's been an idiot. And beyond that, um, he has what I call the honor deficit after the Bragg indictment from New York. He gave a press conference the Monday after the Bragg indictment against President Trump leaked. And let's be clear here. President Trump is facing 730 years in prison after having committed no crime. This is how they want to win, quote unquote, win the election. After the Bragg indictment from New York leaked from a guy who campaigned, because we elect our prosecutors, it's a little perverse, yeah. campaigned on putting President Trump in prison. After that indictment leaked, the governor of Florida said twice in a press conference, I don't know about hush money for porn stars. I mean, just childish the first time, second time, just unprofessional. Then he said at the end, uh, and I'm not going to get involved, despite the fact that somebody could have told him he's the governor of the state in which the president resides in the home that was raided by the FBI. And if you know his CV, this is also a former JAG officer. He's a former military prosecutor of the state where the president resides. And he says, I'm not getting involved. For me, yeah. that is an honor deficit. And it is unrecoverable. That and his flip-flop on Ukraine, he tanked his own campaign. For, for and, and, and also the completely caustic social media yeah, yeah, that, but losers. That's a, yeah. I mean, just attacking fellow Republicans. There's enough to do with Biden. Yeah. What are you doing? They've banned... His campaign from going on Tim Paul's show. I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. Like I, like I said, I, I just want to be very clear to any DeSantis supporters. I like DeSantis. I like a lot, like 99% of what DeSantis has done. Like DeSantis is a great model of what a governor should do to essentially legislate the left out of existence mm -hmm. in your own state, right? And in his own state, his popularity skyrocketed. Fantastic. And the DeSantis influencers picked the wrong fight and then suddenly it's injecting all this venom into the right where everyone on the right was like Trump great DeSantis great let's keep going let's keep going we've got wins we've got wins and then suddenly there's this poison that's and I'm watching the venom on my timeline between you know people I really like on both sides I'm like what are you doing you know you're acting as if we've got the victory already you're acting as if we own everything already and actually we're, we're now fighting over the spoils we don't actually own things. But there's, you know? a, there's a broader aspect as well. It's not just his honor deficit. Most of those social media, almost 95% of them, were the biggest Trump boosters for six years. Yes. And then yes. suddenly, suddenly, yeah, suddenly I know, I know. And, and then also, who, why is he governor? I mean, if you, if you go back to Austin Powers, he is well, it was the Trump endorsement, wasn't it? Yeah. He was behind the secretary of ag yeah. for Florida. He was trailing by 16 points. President Trump anoints him and he becomes the governor. And why is he successful? Because he's literally the mini-me to D Donald Trump in Florida. He's replicating what President Trump did at a state scale. One more thing. And you see even in his hand gestures. Oh, totally. He, 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 yeah. And it's, like, it's okay. It's okay to take a successful formula. But own it. Exactly. Don't then attack the guy you've mimicked, right. who's got you to where you are and like you're impersonating. No, that's just... In his campaign say, ads, he was teaching his daughter how to say, make America great again in baby speak. But, but he was reading from a child's book about President Trump exactly. in his campaign ads to his daughter. And, and there's one more thing that's really quite pernicious. The rewriting of history, uh, the memory holding of what he did as governor of Florida under COVID. They're yeah. lying about what he did. Yeah. People, business owners were put in prison who he then later had to pardon because it, he took too much heat for it. But he was not Mr. Open State. And you They're know, lying. And you know what, right? I could, I could even forgive. I could say, look, everyone was a bit crazy during the COVID pandemic. No one knew what was going on. It's easy when everyone else is doing this thing. We are, well, I kind of have to do it because my God, if millions die, right. then okay, fine. But just own it. And we'll say, okay, fair enough. You didn't know. No one knew. And you pardon the people afterwards. You've made restitution. That's fine. Say sorry. 
just say exactly just say sorry i made a mistake it's okay you're human it's totally normal you don't have to freak out about it drives me crazy though and, um, and i I went, I went to miami went to a conservative conference there and i met a bunch of the people who are very close to DeSantis, and i because i'm friends with them and i'm not gonna name any names but they were upset and could tell they've made a mistake like that. really oh oh yes there's oh, only yes. one who's admitted it to me uh, who was uh, the chief chief hispanic surrogate for president trump he went, got on the boat yeah. quickly for DeSantis. He left a month ago, and he knows what, what he did was wrong. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like I said, I'm naming names because I really like this guy. These guys right. really respect them, but they they know they made a mistake. They jumped the gun. You know, they went to you know, and it should have been like just anyone other than Trump. You could have been fine with. And what and happens I, to them if we win? Oh, well, that's the what thing. happens to they, them? They've now they, they've now got to walk back a hard line position. Uh -huh. You know, and they've gone no, it, Trump's evil or useless or stupid or whatever it is. Right. The Santos is a guy, and it's like yeah, okay, fair enough. But now. It's not going to be DeSantis. It's going to be Trump. And if Trump wins, what then? You know, it, you've got this whole social media and it's just, it's such poison. And it's such a silly mistake to have made, you know, Josh, what do you reckon? Well, um, I, I'm going to talk about it, assuming a, a free and fair election, but um, <laughs> yeah, that that's just humoring what I don't actually think will happen. But um, I'm, I'm hoping that JFK Jr. is going to continue to say very leftist things and split the Democrat vote. Like talking about things like reparations. Well, no one who would have potentially voted Trump would vote for him after him saying that. Well, so, actually, the increasing share of the black community that supported Trump after the mugshot com comes out may be inclined to also look at RFK. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it's going to be enough to swing an election. But does RFK have a mugshot? There's only, there's <laughs> only, let's be honest, there's only one reason people that would vote for RFK. It's my Democrat died in the wool mother-in-law. Yeah. It's one. The, a lot of people say what he says about COVID and vaccines, but the only reason he has traction is because of his last name. Yeah. No Trump voter is going to switch from President Trump to RFK, no matter what he says. The Kennedys are a very Democrat name. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I'm not worried. I think it's yeah. great for us. Yeah, I, I, for us. I wasn't worried about it at all. And the thing is, I don't even dislike RFK or anything like that. You know. But you've heard what he said about the environment. Yeah, and guns. Yeah, yeah, and guns. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, like, well, that, that's why there's no public endorsement of RFK for me. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Like I was like, okay, he's not terrible. I don't hate him, but he's not my guy. You know. But, sorry, carry on, Josh. Yeah, and I think that Trump is obviously going to be the, the clear front runner amongst the Republicans. There's no no doubt about it. I am. Uh, I, I kind of feel very similar to you, Carl. In uh, I was very sympathetic towards DeSantis, and for a while, I actually thought that maybe he had a better shot. But now things have transpired that he can't put away. I think, um, as Sebastian said, he's kind of blown his shot a little bit there, and it's a shame. I kind of felt like um, when there was all of that infighting, it's kind of like watching your, your parents fighting. You don't want to pick a side. It's just kind of sad. And it's just your dad's obviously right. <laughs> <laughs> it's just plain. It's just plain awkward when DeSantis made his move. Uh, it, it, it's again, it's just unpleasant. It's unnecessary. It's unpleasant, and I don't understand. I'd like to be explained to what, why, why someone would do that and his motives. But uh, the Christian right have really called Trump out and gone hard with some contradictions and some other things with regards to his pro-life stance. So, and that really pisses me off. Trump twenty. But when I see conservatives, Christians, quest say he has to prove his credentials on life. I'm a cradle Catholic. I thought I would go to my grave with Roe v. Wade killing 800 babies a year, 800,000. And what, what happened last year? Because of him, because of those three Supreme Court associate justices, that piece of crap was thrown back to the States. That's the guy who has to prove himself another on a deficit. I, lo I do love that whole overturning of Roe v. Wade, though. Clarence Thomas writes like one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> like, I love it. I just, I, you know, it's the, and it, for me, it feels kind of like the long arc of revenge for Clarence Thomas. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> People forget who affected the high tech lynching. It was Biden. Yep. Biden was the chairman of the committee. Accuse him of rape. Right. Accuse because rape. he's a black conservative. Yep. He shouldn't have been allowed to run for county dog catcher, let alone president, after what he did to Clarence Thomas. And so what it's, scum. It's lovely to watch Clarence Thomas yes. getting his revenge. With one sentence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so good. As well, crowbarring in future legislation <laughs> saying, well, maybe we should also look at a burger Phil v. Hodges and mm -hmm. the sexual revolution rulings. The logic kind of holds that he's just taking a, a, a cleaver to every progressive right. sacred cow. 
This is why we follow American politics. The right mm-hmm. has wins in America. Yes. <laughs> we don't have wins here. It's um, actually remor- remoralizing, isn't it? it Whereas really following is. British politics is what, just what like is, a what is, continued you help me. retreat. What is happening here? Because I grew up under Maggie. And when I'm hearing from all my British yeah. mates that Labour is going to win, and this is even worse than what I grew up under with Foot and Kinnock who lived down the road from me in Ealing. What the hell is going on, guys? So, And can um, we bring Nigel back? Well, to watch the full video, please become a premium member at lotuseaters.com.